Hello Minecraft friends, this is Trethany. Welcome back to Journey Through Minecraft, Episode 8. In our last episode, we built the iron armor, and let's change our perspective so you can see that. Let's look at ourselves. Looking good. Look at us. See? We are looking great. All right. So I changed my view perspective by pressing up on the D-pad, which is the dig digital pad that looks like a plus sign. Press up on it, it cycles through the different uh, perspectives. So the, I normally play in first person pers perspective. That's what this is. But if you like playing in those other perspectives, you can. It's easy, easy to play in this perspective. This was considered a third person perspective. And then this is kind of like a camera perspective, which is really hard to control. That's why in the last episode, you kind of saw me moving around kind of weird. But, um, but yeah, up on the D-pad. So in this episode, what we're going to look at doing is creating us a, a cow farm. I put some cows in a pen. So let's clear out some space for so we can have a cow pen somewhere around here. Maybe what, what we could do is we could put that here. Yeah, this would be a perfect spot because we only need uh, two at the very beginning. If we could find more, that would be great. But remember, when we got the sheep, we used the wheat to attract them over. And now that we have slime balls, I am going to show you how to create a lead. Where is our... There it is. So let's get our slime balls. And I believe we need string too. Let's grab our string. Let's see, hopefully we have enough string and slime balls. Nope, it sure doesn't look like it. So let's go down here and see what we need. Where is it? There it is. So if let's press X on that button. It looks like we need two more strings. So we'll have to find some spiders um, before we can make a lead. So we'll, we'll look out for a spider. And we may even create that that potato farm as well because we'll, we're going to need food too so I'm going to take half of that actually now just keep that and then we'll eat the bread instead that'll be our source of food for right now and let's go find us uh, let's make sure let's go find some cows but we're going to make sure we have enough space here oh we could have put this gravel away and let's see so let's Let's go to our dirt using our left bumper and right bumper button. And let's uh, make this even that out for a little bit. Let's get to probably extend this out so that, yeah, there we go. That way, when we put our cow pen here, we will um, have some space for it. It's starting to get dark, so let's wait a little bit. Let's go to sleep and then... Uh, we'll create some we'll create some fences for us and we'll go ahead and lay out the template for our our pen. Let's where is our wood? See this is why we need cows. We need some more leather to create some item item um, frames and then we can put stuff in there. So we already got a few fences. We got that. We, we're gonna looks like we're gonna need to cut some more wood. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move this out and put our fences. Remember I was using the Y button to move the items from my hot bar to the inventory space to and back and forth. So we're gonna keep a space here so we can get in between. Um, but this is where we're gonna start our, our fence. And then we'll go out here a little bit, make it provide a pretty good amount of room for our cows and then we'll put the door over here and we'll put two just like we did with our, sh our sheep and that will have an unlimited amount of of cows so we can get item frames let's go ahead and take this tree down because we're going to need this space anyways later and get some wood hope you enjoyed the last episode and creating our armor for our, our character We'll keep that nice big tree. I remember I like big trees, so we'll keep that one. And then it, we'll see. That should give us that put should put us high enough. Okay, there you go. 
we'll get some more spruce wood so that we can make as many fences and some fence gates for us. Remember, if you like my videos, please hit the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, so that you'll see when I upload new videos uh, into my channel. I'll continue this series. And I really would like to hear some comments from you guys. All right, let's, uh, let's get this. Remember, I'm hitting the right trigger to chop down the wood. Oh, see, look, up there, the log fell on the leaf. So we want to get that log. How many? We got 27. Let's let's get a few more. We're gonna clear out this space of trees. I'm gonna jump up here so that I'm gonna make sure that we're high enough. And in future episodes, we will go out and explore some. We'll probably make the Nether portal and some of the, all the other basic things to, to do in Minecraft. There you go. I oh, can't get that out. There you go. Now I could get out. We got 35. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this out because we're eventually going to put probably that potato farm somewhere here. So we'll go ahead and get this. You know, making these big spruce trees are nice because you can get a lot of wood from them. And I'm thinking about climbing up here and taking this down because I don't really, like I told you before, I don't really like how, um, what's that called? How, how, how it's really right on the floor when it grew. And when you grow these large spruce trees, it creates this type of dirt type and it has the leaves. So, and the, the only way you could get that is if you have a silk touch. Like if I do right now, all I get is dirt. See, I didn't get that special type of block. So if you want to, if you want to get that type of block, you have to have a silk touch shovel or any type of silk touch but shovel would be best because it, it will get it um, cut a lot faster all right um, and then we'll go ahead and take this one out and that should give us enough logs so that we can create a pen and then we'll go around we'll wait also at night time to see if we could get some more spiders We'll run around and see if we can get some more spiders. I don't have, I don't have a another axe. So let's go get another axe. All right. I really like our chest room. It looks good. Hopefully, you were able to create one as well. If you do, if you created another one and, and you're real proud of it, go ahead and and send it to me. I'd like to see those pictures. Oh, here's a wolf. Look, see the wolves. This is why you have fences around your your um, pens as well, because or else the wolves will try to kill your sheep. I'm pr I'm going to go ahead and take him out because I think he might be able to still get through the fence. There you go. Because we don't want him to kill our our sheep. And we need to actually feed the sheep so that we can we can um, get some more. And we'll we'll do that with the the wheat. Now that we have wheat, we'll harvest some wheat and then we'll we'll feed them. All right, there you go. Now we have we should have enough spruce logs, and then we'll go ahead and and create. We'll create uh, some fences. Let's go ahead and get some wheat. Now that the wheat have grown, that way we can harvest that. Just go over that, and if if you want to replant, just get the seeds and replant them back into your tilled soil there you go well hey we'll go ahead and get this one too so we have a good amount of wheat and then we'll go ahead and replant this and that will grow there you go and i was just holding the left button and then walking around and putting it pointing my cursor down to it and holding the left button and it was planting the seeds and so if i go here if i get my wheat and I go to my sheep, see they'll come to me. If you feed one and then feed the other, they will show the little love um, icons coming from them and they'll kiss and they'll create a baby, see? 
there's our little baby now we have four so what I like to do is have at least you know a good maybe eight ten of them in there so that I have a, a good amount of sheep wool that I can get from them and I'll show you how to color them later um, I don't it's starting to look dark but I think it's just because of the what's of the um, the clouds so let's go and get some planks I pressed the Y button and it gave me 64 plus another 18 We'll create some more. Oh, we needed some more sticks. So let's create some sticks. And then let's create some more. I'll get 30. And then I want to get two gates. All right. So let's get our food up there and get our fence and gate into our hot bar so that it'll be ready for us to go ahead and place down. All right. So this is where we're going to go. I'm gonna put two and then uh, let's let's put three and then let's put two gates just like that so put three one two three so one two three and so that's one two three and then the fourth will be the fence wall to the other side and then we could just close it up just like that and we got some torches, so let's put some torches on here. Again, this the torches is just to light up the area so that it prevents mobs from, oops, I accidentally put it on the floor. It prevents mobs from spawning up in the dark areas. It, you know, if you have a hard time seeing the gate, I, I always like to put maybe two torches here as well so that you can see where uh, the gates are. All right, so let's collect that. Here's some spruce sampling saplings and some sticks let's see if there's any other spruce saplings that have dropped over here um, yeah there's some right here let's collect that and some sticks and then we will plant uh, these we'll plant these somewhere so that we have we have some close let's go ahead and plant a big one here see what it looks like when it grows that would be cool all right now we got our pen all we have to do is look for uh, some cows and we're going to stay up because we want to again find the the spiders because we need two more we need two more um strings and we'll put this away for now because we're not going to make the farm this episode. All right. And we want we want the bread because we're going to get hungry. And we'll keep the bear, sweet berries as a backup to our food source. And then we're going to put the gravel away because we don't need the gravel right now. So we'll put that away. And go to our wood. There you go. Go to our wood chest and we'll put our fences because our fence is completed. All right. Starting to get dark. Let's see where we can find some cows. That way we will know where to go when we do get to our lead. Uh, you know what? Since we don't have a lead yet, we might as well. If we do see a cow, we'll go ahead and let them follow us using some wheat. So cows like wheat. Just like this. And so if there is one... We, we will let it follow us. There's some chickens over there. That's something we should create is a chicken coop. So we have an unlimited amount of, oh look, the foxes over there just ate the chicken. We'll go ahead and get that chicken meat in that, in that feather. That way we have some chicken that we could eat. All right, let's see where we can find some cows. I saw some cows earlier, yeah, so either around town. The only danger, like I said, is if we stay up at night looking for spiders, the zombies will come out and, oh, see, there's a creeper right there. So let's go ahead, oh, let's go ahead and go to sleep. I'm sorry, villager, but I need to use your bed so that you don't get turned into a zombie. All right, sorry, buddy. We're going to name you guys later, too. There's a creeper somewhere around here. We don't want him to sneak up on us. So we'll try to. So what I do is run at him just like that. Jump back. And then run at him. 
jump, and jump back, and then run, and then and then start hitting like that. Or that way he doesn't explode. If you stick way too long next to him, he will explode, and everything around it. I think it's a four or five wide block of area will will blow up. So let's find us these cows. Oh, there's a skeleton. I bet no, that's not a skeleton. That's the beach. Okay, where are these cows? I know there's some cows here last time. It looks like uh, some more foxes and some wolves over here. Oh, there is a skeleton. He's going to try to, so we're going to take him out. We got armor now, so he's not going to hurt us as bad as before. We'll go ahead and eat. That way we can restore our health as well. There you go. So remember I used the left trigger button, selected my item that I wanted to eat, then pressed the left trigger button to, uh, to eat uh, the food. All right. There's a pig. No cow. There are some foxes. All right, so come on, cow, where are you? It's funny because when, when you're playing and you want something, it seems like it's always hard to find. But when you're not looking for a certain item or certain thing or animal, then they seem to be all over the place. There was one time my but my friend and I were playing, and we went I, we went. To go retrieve his stuff that he lost because he died and we we're looking for a horse and normally we could find a horse anywhere and we couldn't find a horse at all so we had to travel all the way to his to his um stuff that dropped since when he died uh without a horse and then when we found it and we didn't need a horse. We found horses all over the place. It's crazy. Okay, there, these are turnips. You can make soup out of that. Let's look over here if we can find us a cow. Sometimes what you have to do is take out the other animals. And then you'll start seeing other animals spawn up. So I'm swimming across. I'm pressing the A button to keep myself afloat instead of sinking. Let's go over here. Uh, seems like there's a lot of foxes, but no. Whoa, I thought that was a fall. You have to be careful. Sometimes there's trenches and you'll end up falling inside a, a huge trench and then die. There's uh, none there. Let's look over here on this side of the island. At least we're exploring a little bit. Uh, it looks like there are there's just a lot of spruce wood area here. Let's go into the water. Check over here on this side of the island. See if I don't hold the A button, I start falling. So I usually hold the A button, and then I'll stay afloat, bobbing up and down. When you have there's a boot that you can get that lets you walk and move around in water um, much easier. Ah, come on. All right, we're gonna have to break that. Oh, what was that? Oh, something. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna take out this squid because they drop these, the ink bags. And then you can color things with that, the insects, I mean, and use that for a black dye. So, n normally you don't see them in the riverways. That's actually, I believe, a bug. And Mojang had fixed that uh, because they're only supposed to spawn up in the, in the ocean. And then they fixed it and then they start coming back again okay here it goes i'm gonna harvest this this sheep because that maybe that'll help get this cow more cows to show up all right all right perfect we got two cows so we're gonna walk a little bit slow for them come on cow come on all right, let's see if they'll follow us. This is the only thing. Sometimes they don't follow very 
very well. All right, let's go this way. Hopefully we'll be able to get them across the water fairly easy. Yeah. We might be able to go around this way because our camp is that way. So let's see, let's go this way. See if they follow us across the water. I'm going to see if, if there's a there's a way over here. Yeah, there's a shorter or not as deep path off of the water. And then uh, they'll come over here. Because we have to get on this side of the river bank. And hopefully they'll come. Come on. Come on. And we'll name them. If we find a tag, I'll show you how to, to name your animals. Come on. All right, there you go. He's following us. Perfect. All right, let's go this way. Make sure that they follow us. We'll call one Bo and the other one Mary. <laughs> if if you want to put in comments what you want me to name them, um, just let me know, and I'll, I'll name them to whatever you'd like me to name them to. But uh, I'll show you how to name your animals using a tag. All right, come on, cows. Yeah, they're just running in circles, aren't they? All right. Come on in here. Come on in. See, if you didn't have two, a two gate... Let's close that. Now, if I feed, if you didn't have a two gate, they wouldn't be able to come through very easily. They still could, but it's not as easy. All right. Right now, your your names are Bo and Mary. So, I am going to feed Bo and then Mary, and you'll see the hearts, and then a baby will spawn up. There you go. Now we have three. And then when when the little one grows, then we'll continue to feed them, and we'll get at least six or ten of them in here and then we'll harvest uh, the leather from them and then if there's any cows that uh, we see around then we'll um we will harvest uh, leather and meat from them well i think we will end our episode there for this time this is our cow farm all right uh it's our cow pen perfect all right. Well, like I said, if you guys like my video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more and you want to join my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It helped me grow my channel. And if you want to see other videos from me, there are there's another playlist called State of Decay. And you can watch that as well. Well, for now, you guys have a great day. And again, this is Trethany. I appreciate you watching. Bye.